is a book review of The Daleks. This is from the makers of Doctor Who, and this is the ultimate collector's edition of the classic 1960s strip. And I loved back in the day, back in the 1960s. And, but the thing was, I often didn't get every issue, and I would have it out of order, and I'd pick issues up at like jumble sales and things, and pick, you know, read it. And so it's really nice to get finally an edition where I can read it all the way through. And it's got uh, there the information there Angus Allen. Alan Fennell, Terry Nation, David Whittaker, and you've got illustrated by Richard Jennings, Eric Eden, and Ron Turner. And you've got some original comic books. Now, they were quite large, these issues. So, uh, it's, see, they've been shrunk down a bit, which is a pity. I would love to see a proper, full-on, actual comic page, art panel, proper size one. You know, if it was 80 or 90 quid, I'm certain that people would probably still go and buy it because, wow, because it's got the original art pages, many anyway. Not all, some of them are from the original comic books. But, um, but obviously a lot of them are just so, and they really jump off the page. Just the artwork is superb all the way through this. And I would have thought this would have been amazing on proper high quality paper, proper sized, it would be brilliant. Anyway, in terms of story, I'm not gonna say much about the story. It's the Daleks are learning to take over the universe. Or the galaxy, or whatever. So you were sort of there. Sometimes they mention things, and then it seems we say a couple of planets away. But however, you've got uh, this. You've got all the stories. Basically, you've got uh, you've got the mechanoids. You've got these androids. Sometimes they confuse androids, humans, whatever. This bit of confusion occasion. You've also got these plant creatures storyline, and you've got lots of people being traitors, being stupid. Um, well, obviously that's always happens. You've got. Uh, I'm not going to tell that story because that's quite a good story. Uh, and just great all the way through it. Now, this is from Panini. came out in November 2020, and it's 114 pages. And it's all in colour. So it's really, really nice quality. Nice quality paper. Really nice glossy paper. And like I say, it would have been obviously nicer if it had been bigger, but you can't have everything. So you've got all the, there's all the details there. Of all the people, hopefully you can see that. Obviously, Richard Jennings, Eric Eden, Ron Turner, the artists, and Angus Allen, Alan Fennell, Terry Nation, and David Whitaker there. And then for the being writing, got a little article there, obviously showing some examples, etc., and some pictures, and also some I love that one, Craft Master. I remember those. And Visions of the Future. And you've got Ron Turner discussing obviously how he did all the work. And you've got some original art pages there, just absolutely gorgeous absolutely brilliant then onto the actual story now that was the first page now the story the origin is very different from so i'm not going to show you the origin and these were brought out each week so you had like one there and then that would be the next week but it's got the origin story obviously no davros turns up so it's not the origin that uh, we're probably more familiar with with the daleks i love genesis of the daleks episode but uh, and some of the features did turn up in some of the stories. And, uh, but, uh, brilliant. Now, I don't know if the Mechanoids one, there's a Mechanoid story in here a bit later. And I don't know if that's available if uh, the Mechanoids one's been animated. I love those animations. The uh, Macro uh, uh, one is just superb. Actually, Power of the Daleks. I love that one as well. Just really, really good. So hopefully they'll all be animated at some point. I don't know if some people like animation. I love them. So, uh, well, it's, it's some of the original art page. So you can see there, just beautiful. The artwork, the color, everything about it is just really, really brilliant. Now, I always loved this little logo, the little banner that they would put up here. And I always thought that Dalek was getting cut in half, just the way that beam's going out. Very odd. Also, I loved that bit as well, when they'd always put the sort of news stories that were going on at the same time. Very odd, just putting it in. But, in many ways, it was slightly annoying at the time. I must admit, I always remember thinking, well, why not use the panel for something else, you know, part of the story? But instead, they would put this little, very odd. And but the Daleks, the stories themselves, actually, I mean, the artwork is beautiful, the restoration, colours, and I'm not going to show that page because that's it. It's just beautiful, just beautiful, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Panel structure is just so easy to read. So you can just read through this really, really quick. And I love this one with the plants. Just absolutely brilliant story. Doesn't last very long, the story. And 
then suddenly it sort of finishes. And it's slightly disappointing, but um, well, there's places where it's like that a few times where it's sort of, you think, oh, what happens next? Oh, what, you know, really let me, but that's it. They've moved on and the story goes to something else. And I love this one, Bulos, capital uh, city of the planet, Solturus. It was quite good. They had this, uh, you see, oh, they could see the future here and they could look for this bowl. And they, of course, he would look again, ruler, tell me if you see what now is harmless, etc. Of course, people always think that they're the Daleks. Obviously, that Daleks reputation has not spread across the universe yet. Everyone knows, of course, later that the Daleks are evil and everyone makes certain that they avoid them like the plague. But uh, anyway, of course, for some weird reason, they always spend a lot of time coming to Earth. Well, we must get that planet for some weird reason. Anyway, but they got problems. They had problems all the way through. So they're developing. Obviously, they're developing their technologies. They're obviously learning how to dalatomic progress and things. They always put Dalek or something, D-A-L, in front of virtually everything. And also, they got this, this virus and things. And they've got, obviously, machines and things that they develop all the way through this. So it's a lot of development. Virtually none of this, well, some of it obviously turned up in the... Uh, TV series, obviously the Emperor Dalek and all that sort of stuff. So you've got the Emperor Dalek, and that's that's a great story. Mechanoids, we've got uh, but oh, sorry, the, the key thing here is the art. It's just beautiful, absolute gorgeous artwork all the way through this. You've got these weird dragons, but the story lights like, so occasionally just sort of jumps too much for my liking. I, I wish they had spent a little bit of time rounding the story off instead of just jumping, but it did seem like a structure of about four or so stories, then move on. Another four stories or so, then move on. To be honest, it started a little bit Dan Dare-like in the end, but uh, but I think it's just beautiful. Really, really, truly first rate, and I'll just show just the briefest bit. And I'm always trying to avoid anything to show anything, but it's just, look at the colours on that. Just, and the art, the art is, Beautiful. Oh, at least actually one thing they had changed the uh, banner. It's slightly reduced a bit. I think Daleks like that, with obviously the, the to sort of beam it out as a, sort of a message coming out from his uh, eyepiece, which is a bit odd. And you've got obviously the uh, golden Daleks there. Hmm. But uh, it's uh, that is odd, especially when the Daleks. Just looking at it, the Daleks also the uh, their blaster looks very different. The color, I just, I just love the colors as well. Again, I've, I've mentioned that the art colors, just brilliant. Great story all the way through. This is a great one, and uh, again, I'm not, I don't want to spoil the story by showing bits, quite a lot of it. Obviously, just, just bit, buy the magazine, buy the magazine because this is brilliant. But you have got these young kids, and it sort of feels a bit like a sort of, uh, you know, a youngster story when they. Well, of course, this was, this was being aimed at kids of ten, twelve, whatever, nine or ten. And uh, I guess, you know, you obviously got some kids being sort of brave heroes in the story. And why not tackling the Daleks in, in a way that I'm certain probably wouldn't work in uh, real life if you were doing this. But however, for comic book purposes, wow, what a good, brave moment for the, the characters to do. And then all the way through to the end, you've got an article about the restoration of Daleks. And weirdly, it mentions something else about some of the other ones that they've done. So I, can't see it here. Well, they mention it, but I haven't seen them. Which, but I love a bit here about uh, every copy of TV Center was examined, lesser or greater degree, printed off register. So the slightly misaligned there, but it's still um, quite fascinating. So they obviously had to work on this quite, and they cleaned it up and you see, printed on very porous paper, which meant fine details were lost. This is why I think it's great to see the original art. The original art, you can see it. Better, better than probably was, and it would have been even better if it had been, I'm certain, on, on a bigger scale. But this is just an absolutely brilliant collection. And I would definitely, well, totally recommend getting this and getting this now, because of course with these things, it's often like found with uh, other ones, once they're gone, sometimes very hard to buy. You, go, you find them on auction sites and they're suddenly a little bit more expensive than they were when you see them in the shops. So this one, I would really get this recommended. If you're a Daleks fan, Doctor Who fan, this has got to be a must-have. Really, this is a great purchase.